just for a minute. Say that again, sorry? Break yeah. out into American English just for a minute. Break out into American English? What do you mean? Oh, like speaking an American accent? Is that what you mean? Like that? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, I, you know, I worked extensively in uh, an American accent, and uh, when I was working in New York, people actually thought I was a local actor, and I'd go, no, I'm actually from Belfast. they go, no, you're not from Belfast. And I'd go, yeah, I am. So, yeah, so I spoke, uh, I worked a lot in, in American accents. Did you ever do there Southern? You go. Did you do Southern <laughs> or mostly? You mean like rock top, rock band? <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> uh, that was helped by my sister who, who lived in Texas, and my sister had an accent like mine, my Northern Irish accent. But she was a nurse there for over 30 years before she died, and she used to say things like, she used to yell at the kids, y'all better get your asses down here before I whip your ass. <laughs> Go. Father, you're from Belfast? What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway. So we've just come through a little... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we've, we've available for uh, bookings. Um, <laughs> we've just come through a little village called um, Kirkcubbin, which was very typical of those little Irish villages. You know, it's just one main street with lots of amenities, amenities on it, and then little streets off it where people would live. And that used to be a place where, back in the 1830s, 40s, and 50s, that's where lots of those Victorian bonnets were made in Kilcobin, and then they were exported all around the place.